Hey loves, this is your girl Lala, aka the baddest woman of YouTube. Um, yes, I'm in my car right now because I just went ahead and took out the garbage and oh and I had to sanitize my hands and everything like that. But in that note, I wanted to stop by real quick to YouTube World and take a take, have a talk with you guys real quick. If you are new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below, turn on your notifications, follow me on my social media as well and also make sure you tune in every tuesday because i if you're a wrestling fan like me or if you want to relive your wrestling your wrestling childhood or your wrestling past whatever um uh, make sure you go ahead and tune in to where i co-host with mo young at venom and smoke podcast i will leave the link down below in the description box as well so first and foremost i wanted to start back and if you guys remembered i used to do motivation speak out and I think I believe I should bring that back because there's too much shit going on in the world. And when I try to post it on TikTok, it'd be like TikTok be muting my shit. I, I, no. And then I got to do it again. No. Let me tell you something. The top, I don't even know if there's going to be a top before this, but it's just going to be a lot of shit that's just going to probably let y'all see the light about this. Social media. I know it's, a, it's, it's very vague, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give y'all the breakdown. With social media, do not live into the hype. Do not get sucked into the hype because not all glitter is fucking gold. I am telling you this right now. I know from experience. And disclaimer, this is not here to tarnish anybody's name. No names will not be mentioned. So if you feel like this video is for you, uh, what's that saying? Hit a dog holler, whatever the fuck that is. Oh, well, too bad. Move around change up your attitude i don't know i don't know what to tell y'all first thing i want to say is when it comes to having a following y'all need to be humble because i see so many people that have a big ass following let me roll this down real quick hold on i see so many oh let me load this down i see so many people with a big ass following and not be humble with it they figure that they're well known, that they're popular. They forgot where the fuck they came from. Now, this is where some people, it does peak game. Because, shit, I peak game real quick. It'll take me a while, but I'll peak game. And once I peak game, I'll be like, mm, no, I gotta leave you alone. Let me unfollow your shit real quick. And I'm not even gonna lie. I went through my Instagram, and I went, and I'm going, I'm going through my Instagram and my face, and no, not my Facebook, my TikToks to see who is following me. If you're not following me, I'm not gonna follow you back, unless your shit is like has a meaningful content that I could sit and watch. Then I'm just gonna follow you. And if you're not interesting, I'm not gonna follow you. Or if you're just there doing thirst traps 24-7, I'm definitely gonna unfollow you because you don't have shit to bring to the table. It is what it is. Get mad if you want to. That's that's another thing. When it comes to having a big following, y'all gotta be humble with y'all shit. Be humble to your followers. Be humble to the people that because I know a lot of people make money off of being on being on TikTok, being on Instagram, hell, being on YouTube, being on um Twitter, be humble to your followers because your followers gonna tell them I'll be like, oh, I don't wanna fuck with you, unfollow, and then that probably there's some bitter ass followers be like, well, tell their friends or their family, don't fuck with that person, don't follow that person, they're trash. Da 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 da. So with that being said, be humble to your followers. So that's one. Two, when it comes to social media, I'm gonna tell you this right now, and I'm going to go ahead and just let y'all know from there. When it comes to these relationships posted constantly on social media, the only thing you could do is like, you could just like or heart it or react to it, whatever. Or you could just scroll, mind your business. Or you comment, but don't be giving no hateful comments. The only thing you don't want to do, because what's going to happen is whoever's in that relationship be the ones that be snitching hard body. Do not inbox that person like, oh, so you got a little girlfriend now. Oh, so you got a little boyfriend now. Because they're going to run back. 
on their on their social media and make a post, a sub post, and say, "Oh, you people hitting me up because now I'm in a relationship. They wasn't hitting me up before. My phone is dropped. Don't do it. Don't get in their inbox. All you can do right now is just comment congratulations and keep it pushing. And those same people that try to shove their relationships down y'all do down people's throats, don't do that either." I'm going to tell you why. Because right now, you're just opening up the floodgates for the vultures to come in. And for everybody to spew everything that you both have done in the past. That's another obstacle obstacle that anybody who's in a relationship and want to put it out there to the streets. That y'all in a relationship. That's something y'all got to, you know, hurl over. Another thing is, if you're going to put your relationship out there like that on blast... Ain't not one or both. Better not be out here slipping, trying to ch go in somebody else's DMs like you single. And think somebody's gonna there's gonna be somebody that's gonna take the bait and not give a fuck. But there's gonna be people like, oh, don't you got a girlfriend? Um, oh, don't you got a boyfriend? Why are my DMs? And you know, and don't try to make them feel guilty for rejecting you. Don't you dare do that because what's gonna happen is if you constantly keep doing that. You know what's going to happen? Somebody's going to turn around and get fed up and screenshot their, that significant other say, hey, can you let your person know? Don't be hitting me up like that. That's mad disrespectful to you. But even if you send them screenshots, I'm going to tell you right now, shit. Nine times ten, this couple is going to stay together. So the only way you can do it, you can screenshot it, but don't post it on your social media because you're going to look like the bad guy. The only thing you could do is like when that fucker gets caught, you be like, and you get asked, here you go. It sounds weird, but I'd be like, here you go. This is what your man's is doing. This is what your girl was doing. Here you go. He or she cannot turn around and be like, oh, why you do that? First of all, I don't, I don't hold no lawyer to you. You should have fucking, should, you know, be faithful. So, and then not only that, when it comes to relationships in this social media, do not get invested in it. Y'all do not get invested in these social medias on Facebook. I mean, not Facebook, well, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, YouTube, because no shade to some of these couple channels. And it's the big couple channels that I be seeing and I be hearing about. Be doing the most, but then when shit hits the fan, Lord, y'all gotta pick a side now. Y'all gotta pick a side now. And me, people like me, I'll sit back and be like, hmm, I told you so. That's another thing, too. You don't wanna get invested into like relationships that's be posted on Facebook. You don't wanna get it, also, you don't wanna get it like believing the hype of what somebody has. Meaning, if somebody has the the big cars, the jewelry, um, the flashing of the money. Don't fall into that shit. I'm going to tell you why. In my eyes, that's uh, because I'm from New York. I don't know if, I don't know where everybody else is from. I don't know where all my subbies are from, where all my subs are from. But in my eyes, it looks like it screams that you're a walking target. So what's going to, oh, let me blow my window. You're a walking target. So what's going to happen is you're already a target for somebody to rob you. Somebody to snatch your chain. Somebody rob you out your money that you have in your pockets. So there's no telling that somebody could be coming up in there in the club. Prime example. Because I don't see a lot of females do it, but I see a lot of dudes do it. They'll flash the jewelry. They'll flash the money. They'll be popping bottles in the sections. And, you know, that's going to you know, attract some of these females. So they think they're attracting a baddie and they figure they're going to take her home or take her to the nearest hotel room. Well, not to a hotel room. And knowing this female, she probably is going to be like, no, I'm not going to this hotel room. You got me fucked up. Nine times 10, whatever, she probably say, take me to a nicer one. You're going to take the, y'all going, y'all males going to take the female to the nicer one. You don't know if she could make a freaking phone call 
or not only a phone call or send on a text message to the to the nigga that she hitting the lick that helping hitting the lick for say hey we gonna be over here here's my location y'all y'all then the next thing you know you turn around you think you finna get some ass no you about to get your ass beat and get robbed and look and hope and pray to god that's only it because there's some dudes out there's some people out there that's really low key crazy and don't give a fuck about going back to jail. They could turn around and get your ass killed. So when it comes to posting shit that you have, don't do that. Sometimes you gotta move in silence. If you got money, play broke. Okay, ain't nothing wrong. And then not only that, y'all out here flashing. Flashing all y'all shit, y'all flashing look like y'all. In my eyes, y'all look like y'all the broke niggas because you out here flashing. I don't know what your rent money. I don't know your your car note. Whereas you could have you could see somebody who work a simple nine to five job. They don't have to do all that. They work. They drive a regular car, work a simple nine to five job, pay their bills on time. But that's the ones that a lot of females don't go for a lot of males they don't go for even the females that work a simple job that drives a simple car they want the and another thing too the facade y'all dudes go for the females that got the big asses that have the pretty face that wears the cute little lace fronts and ain't nothing wrong wearing lace fronts because i know some females that wear lace fronts and they look very good in it um even have the the cute the the braids in the hair and their face be beat to the gods. But those same females that y'all be going for, y'all be crying, complaining. Them bitches are crazy. Cause you know why? You know why? Because you know what happened? Because they figured they thought they had you. But no, you flip the script on them. Was like, oh, okay, I got her now. Now she and her feelings. Now I can go ahead and attract other females. Da 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 da. da. That's what happened. Now, when you have the plain Janes laughing at you, y'all want to get mad or make posts about y'all like, oh, poor little Tink Tink, or go in your comments and start talking shit, y'all get mad. Y'all get big, big. But I promise you, when you see all these plain Janes or these, these Joe Schmoes, y'all ain't going to do shit. Because at the end of the day, you still need a hard-earned money to go to these parties that y'all promoting. Now... Let me go ahead and talk about these parties that I be promoting. And don't get me wrong. I've been to some events, but sometimes I would be like, you know, nine times 10. Now I got to start doing research and nine times 10. When it comes to me pulling up in events, I got to know about that shit within a week in events. If I don't know about a week in events, I know about it the week of the week of or the day before. I'm not coming. If I know if it's not a fucking vibe, I'm not coming. And even if I get my ass there. If I know it's, a, it's not a vibe and I feel it in my spirit, I'm going to look at the person, the host, be like, hey, partner, I got to go. It's not for me. I'll take you, man. I'll let you know I got home. Um, My thing is, too, is like when it comes to people promoting their parties, their events, watch what videos they use. You know why I say that? Because nine times ten, they use the videos. They use old videos from their past event. Let me give you an example. Say there's an event on Saturday from this club. They will use a video from two weeks ago from that same club where it was lit. That will draw people to come in to the club, which is, is, is good. It's good and sometimes it's bad because then when people get there, it's going to be like, hey, this is not how it is before. What's going on? And also, you got to watch when people be going live. When people go live, they can't be all in their face. But they don't show everything. Um, you Sometimes when they mess around, flip the camera over, look at the surroundings. Nine times out of ten, especially when people be like, oh, it's lit, da, 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 especially the house parties. Why am I seeing the floor? I shouldn't be seeing the floor. I shouldn't even be seeing the wall bear wall people should be posted up on it it should be mad people on that wall nine times ten it's not so it's like a lot of people are peeping game with that 
And they be like, nah, I ain't coming, you know, nah, I ain't wasting my ten dollars. I ain't wasting my twenty dollars. I'm good, love. Enjoy. You know, I'd rather just stay home. So this is a couple of things when it comes to social media, do not give in to the hype. You will fall flat on your face. Till then, make sure you tune in to, you know, not tune in, but make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video, turn your notification bell to Lala's Empire. Till then, y'all be cool. Have a nice day. Bye.